At times people say, I've given my daughters whatever I wanted to in my life. When I die, they're not entitled to anything. When they were getting married, I gave them some gold. When they were getting married, I gave them X, Y, and Z. Or I gave them a certain amount of something. So now when I die, they don't deserve anything. Or they will not get because they were given. Sometimes some of the sons say, when the father has died, leaving behind a lot of wealth. And the sons say, well, we're not going to give our sisters because they were given during the lifetime of my father. Those statements are invalid in Islam and they are considered a major sin. And they could actually remove a person from the fold of Islam if they're denying the verses of the Quran. Because what you need to know is Allah has stipulated in the greatest of detail, every fraction of inheritance that has to go to the people that Allah has designated, the people that Allah has decided will actually be the heirs and the receivers of this particular wealth. So it's not up to you what will happen. It's up to Allah what will happen. And Allah has given you a choice up to a third of your wealth where you may say with certain conditions, where or who that particular wealth should go to for as long as it is not going to a stipulated heir. But in a nutshell, you cannot deny someone from your own children some of your inheritance simply because you say they were given when I was alive. That's not good enough. Yes, what you gave them when you were alive is their property. But if you die leaving behind something still next to your name, all your children will inherit. So recently I was asked by a certain brother saying, you know, I'd like to give my daughters whatever I have to now so that they don't get anything when I die. And I said, you can give them whatever you want to now, but when you die, if there is anything next to your name, they will still be from among the heirs and they will inherit. So when you're alive, you make sure that you give people equal. Your children should get equal shares when you're alive. If you're giving your son something, give your daughter something as well. Unless there is one who is in greater need and you want to give them a little bit more, it's your discretion. When you're alive, I'm talking of the gifts. This is not about inheritance, right? The sentence I just said now. And so if someone of your children was wealthy and you wanted to perhaps not give them a certain gift because they're already wealthy during your life, not talking about inheritance, that's your discretion. You can do what you want. Generally, we're taught to be fair between our children. But if you die, the minute you close your eyes, whatever wealth was yours needs to be shared in a specific way that has been dictated by Allah in Surah An-Nisa. So read through the verses of Surah An-Nisa and you will definitely see every portion and proportion that's supposed to go to the particular heirs that Allah has chosen. So don't say my sister doesn't get anything or my daughter doesn't get anything because that itself may cause a lot of regret for us in this world as well as in the next. Let's be fair and let's understand we adopt what Allah says, come what may. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all.